So in this video, what I want to talk about is how relays work, what they are, what they do, and how they can do things for you that you never really understood, that they're even good as they really are an amazing little device. So in a nutshell, if you've ever seen a single pull double throw relay on the bottom, the contacts look just like this. You have basically a coil, which is 85 and 86, which require opposing polarities to energize the magnetic field of the relay to either connect the common to pin 87A in the center or 87 on the top of the relay. And the armature inside, which you can never see, looks kind of like this. So to take the mystery out of a relay, even if you pop this the lid of it off and looked at the bottom, it would still look a little weird. It would never look quite as simplified as it does here. So essentially, this is all a relay is. What it is in English is an electromagnetic switch. So if you only understand it in those terms, you'd be a lot less scared of using relays in the future because they can do so much for you. So I'll just leave this up here. So if you want to, you know, pause the, the uh, video, you can read up on them a little bit and understand a little bit more about them. This one here is a 30 slash 40 amp relay, which can be used either on normally open or normally closed. It'll have different amperage tolerances. Otherwise, you're basically saying the same thing. So basically what it's telling you is you have your common, you have your two coils, and you have your normally open, normally closed pins, like it's explained right here in this text. 30 is always the common. And a single pole double throw basically means that the relay is going to have five pins on it. So you're always going to have a coil. A single pole, single throw relay is going to have two additional ones, which you typically find like a simple fog light switch or something like that. Otherwise, car alarms or other more higher higher amperage application requirements are going to be usually accompanied by one of these single pole double throw footprint style relays. So right here is a good little explanation of what they are, what they do. And so here's a couple simple uses for our relay and they just go on and on. I'm going to have several relay videos to follow to explain some of these applications because they're so neat. You can really do so much cool stuff with relays. I love relays. So if you're really interested in this kind of stuff, you can always ask me. I also have a free relay PDF, which is approximately, I think, 60 odd pages, and it's just chock full of applications, and it's free for the asking. Just let me know you want one. Um, don't put your email request in the comments, please, because it's kind of annoying to, 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 to take that information and transcribe it over to an email. So just email me to sales at letsgoelectronics.com, and I will be happy to give you one. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video for the basic portion of what relays are. If you're interested in more, check out some of my other relay uh, application videos, and I'll be happy to share some of those tips with you as well.